7.2. Um, we're going to do some examples now. Um, and 7.2 was properties of rational numbers and the exponents. We went over these in chapter 6. Okay, so this isn't anything completely new. Um, but what it is, is not so much new as much as just kind of a review, but seeing how everything works um, with rational exponents. Um, according to our rule, just like before, um, you take whatever the exponent is with parentheses and you multiply it through. So this is like saying one half times three fifths, which is three tenths. So the top is six to the three tenths. I take this through to the bottom, and that's like saying um, one third times three fifths which the threes just cancel out, so that's like simplifying it to one-fifth. So this is like saying six to the one-fifth. Now, the problem is I have three-tenths and one-fifth. So because it's sixes, right, because the bases are the same and it's division, um, all you do now is subtract the exponents. So we subtract them. Well, the problem is they don't have the same base. So to make the same base, I multiply by two. So I get 3, 10, 3 over 10 minus 2 over 10, which is actually 1 over 10. So that is my exponent. So when I subtract those, I actually get 6 to the 1 tenth as my answer. If I wanted to, I could rewrite that as the tenth root of 6. Either one of those is the correct answer. OK, moving on to the next one. Um, this just means that I can take that through to each one. So I can multiply a third times a half to get one sixth. So I have a two to the one sixth power. I can multiply that through to get three fourths times a half, which is three eighths. So I have two to the three eighths. Now, when you're multiplying, and there's no parentheses there, you just add the exponents. So this is 1 sixth plus 3 eighths. Well, I need to find a common base out of both of these. Well, I'm looking through here, and the first thing I can think of is 24. So what I can do is I can multiply both the top and the bottom of that one by 4. I can multiply both the top and the bottom of this one by 3. That would give the bases to both be 24. So I'd end up with 4 over 24 plus 9 over 24. And when I add those together, I get 13 over 24. And 2 is still the base, so I have 2 to the 13 over 24. <clears throat> okay, so the question is, how do you rewrite that? Well, there's a couple ways. I could rewrite that as 2 um, to the 1 24th and all of that to the 13th power. Or I could write that as 2 to the 13th power all to the 1 4th. So either or. And by doing that, um, it really, or sorry, not 1 4th, what am I saying? One twenty-fourth. Um, so by doing that, either or I can write that, and that when you have a fraction, it's like saying the twenty-fourth root of two times thirteen, or this one's like saying the twenty-fourth root of two to the thirteenth. Either one um, will work. So, and this one is just basically taking through multiplication the whole way through. So that's like saying. 2 thirds times 1 fifth times 2 over 1. So just multiply everything straight across. 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. 3 times 5 times 1 is 15. So you get 5 to the 4 over 15. And once again, you can rewrite that as 5 to the 1 15th, right? to the fourth power, which can be the fifteenth root of five. All of that's 
the fourth. Or we can do five to the fourth, all of that to the one fifteenth, which is like saying the fifteenth root of five to the fourth. Either way, multiple ways to say that. Okay, the next problem. The square root of a square root of a square root. Okay, well, the only way I can think of to do a problem like this um, would be to basically rewrite everything. So it would be 108 to the 1 half power, because remember, our root's like saying 1 half over 27 to the 1 half power. <clears throat> okay, well, that's not a problem. I could rewrite that um, as that if I wanted to. Um, but taking a look uh, through this, okay, um, I could also then take all of that to the um, one half power as well. So all of that could be taken to the one half power. I can distribute that through and get 108 to the one fourth and 27 to the one fourth. Now, because they're both to the one fourth power, I could pull them both out and get 108 over 27, all of that to the one fourth power if I wanted to. So, because they both have the same root, all right, um, that's the only reason I can do that. And when I do that, 108 divided by 27, that actually gives you 4. I mean, do that on your calculator. 108 divided by 27 is 4. So really what I'm saying is we have 4 to the 1 fourth power, which we can rewrite as the fourth root of 4 as our answer. With this one, um, start in and work our way out. 2 to the 1 half. Okay. Then all of that, right? the third root is like saying to the 1 third. Then working our way out, even farther, the fourth root is like saying to the one fourth. So it's basically like saying multiply all those. Multiply one half by one third by one fourth. Two times three is six. Six times four is twenty four with a one on top. So it's like saying two to the one over twenty four, which is just the twenty fourth root of two. That's your answer. All right, um, when I come back, we're going to do these now with simplifying and going over the different strategies with that. Those are just the, the prior problems. We're just working with the properties and make sure you understand all the properties. When I come back here, we'll make sure that we understand how to simplify um, some actual expressions.